Pizza Hut is one of the world's most famous pizza chains, beginning all the way back in 1958, and by 1971 was the biggest pizza place in the world. Over its 66 year lifespan, it's had some pretty bizarre pizzas. You definitely heard of the pan pizza, but have you heard of the flying fish roe and cream cheese filled crust pizza? Most likely not, so let's talk about it. Flying fish roe and cream cheese filled crust. Mmm, who doesn't want their pizza crust to be filled with fish eggs? Me. I don't want the crust to be filled with fish eggs. I also assume it was warm, which adds another level of gross. This is Marmite Stuffed Crust Pizza. In case people don't know about this British staple, Marmite is a thick spread made from yeast extract. To most non-British people, Marmite is rather nasty. So I can't imagine Marmite mixed with cheese, let alone in pizza, is very good. Have you ever had pizza for breakfast? What about breakfast for pizza? This is the Corn Flakes Crust Pizza. Luckily, you could only find this in Kuwait. Sweet mixed with savory on pizza already isn't a great combination. Then mixed with an absurd amount of crunch just doesn't sound great. Going back to seafood, this is the Thousand Island Seafood Pizza. Instead of marinara, Thousand Island dressing is used, which is actually common in China. But what makes this pizza even worse is that it is topped with shrimp, scallops, and other sea creatures. The fact that they keep the cheese on it is the cherry on top that makes this thing a biohazard. Next is durian pizza. Do you know what durian is? No, probably not. Unless you're a fruit connoisseur, you realistically wouldn't know. Durian is this fruit. It looks similar to a jackfruit. It's also one of the world's smelliest foods. When you Google what durian smells like, the first result is, and I quote, the smell is very strong and has been described as a combination of sulfur, sewage, fruit, honey, and roasted and rotting onions. Whoa boy, I know your mouth is watering after hearing that. They wanted to take the pineapple on pizza debate to a whole other level. Here's another abomination, the Madu Padu. I'm not sure if this is even fair to call it pizza. The outer crust is diced cheddar cheese topped with tortilla chips, chicken, and vegetables. To finish it off, honey is drizzled over the top. I'm not sure who this was made for. Probably people that lost their ability to taste. Here's an idea. This should have stayed as an idea. The cheeseburger crust pizza. This pizza looks, um, not really like a pizza. It's a cute little gimmick. Tiny little cheeseburger patties nestled in the crust. I feel like this is difficult to eat. I also feel like this could have easily been just ground hamburger as part of the toppings. I guess that would have also been too normal. Keeping with the theme, this is the hot dog crust pizza. Not much more to say than that. Instead of having an appetizer of pigs in a blanket, just combine it with the entree. My problem with this is that it really doesn't combine the flavors. You're either going to eat the hot dog first or eat the pizza first and save the crust for last. It would have been better to just put hot dogs on the pizza. Hang on a second, they did do that. This is the BBQ Frankfurter pizza. I actually take back what I said. Keep the hot dogs how they were. This doesn't look appetizing. This is the Cheesy Bite Bacon Salad Pizza. Why eat healthy when you can have the illusion of eating healthy? A BLT without the bread and little cheesy bites. Why are you at Pizza Hut if you're gonna eat healthy? One of the most offensive Pizza Hut items, the Mizza. Sure, why not? Just replace the crust with a rice cake. I'm sure that will work out well. It also doesn't have any of the traditional pizza toppings besides cheese, so I feel like I should stop talking about this. You've heard of pepperoni, chicken, ham, bacon, and even burger on pizza. But have you ever heard of duck on pizza? Me either. In China, you can find the Peking duck pizza. The duck is complemented with an assortment of vegetables. I can't imagine the combination of everything tastes that great. Speaking of animals that don't belong anywhere near a pizza, this is the fish and chips pizza. But unlike actual fish and chips, where the chips are actually french fries, the chips on the pizza are literal potato chips. Someone didn't do their research. You've gotten iron from some of the meats, and you've just got some mercury with that fish. Now we have gold. We're gonna have the whole periodic table by the time I'm done. This is the Golden Garlic Knot Pizza. This was done as a Super Bowl promotion and was limited to only 50 people. And for good reason, too. This is literally 24 karat gold. And that stuff is put on thick. Even though the fish and chips pizza didn't have fries, this one certainly makes up for it. The poutine pizza, exclusive to the one and only Canada. Just feeding further into the stereotype. I don't know, the french fries just... They don't look like they belong. These are two dishes that just shouldn't have been combined. And now french fries cousin, tater tots. This is the tater tot crust pizza. I feel like you'd have a hard time eating this without squishing the tater tots when you hold it. 
It's the same as the hot dog pizza. Wouldn't it just be easier to eat them separately? This is the bulgogi pizza. Bulgogi is grilled beef with a sweet taste. And Pizza Hut made a pizza out of it. Visually, the pizza looks abhorrent. These very thin strings of red pepper look like hair. And I can't unsee that. Mmm, hair pizza. Cone crust pizza is where I begin to really roll my eyes. I can let hot dogs, tater tots, and even shrimp slide being on the crust. But this is just too wacky. The crust has been turned into cones filled with cream cheese or honey mustard chicken, depending on which one you order. It's without a doubt hard to eat, and you're definitely going to get cream cheese all over your hands. And now competing with the cone crust pizza for the wackiest is the double sensation pizza. It's a pizza within a pizza. The outer crust is filled with mozzarella, cheese, and parmesan. And the inner crust is filled with even more cheese and chicken sausage. The toppings are, get ready for this mouthful, turkey ham, smoked chicken, mushrooms, bell peppers, zucchini, pepper alfredo sauce, and a salsa sauce. That is simply too much. The most shocking thing to me is that this is not even an American pizza. It's from Singapore. This pizza is like when you have a family that can't decide on what toppings to order. So you have the pizza place do half of one topping and half of the other topping on the other side of the pizza. This pizza is like that, but on every slice. This pizza is another contender in the pineapple debate. Pickle pizza. This is basically a regular chicken ranch pizza, but topped with pickles and even more ranch. Pickles are great. Ranch is great. Pickles and ranch are not great. If that combination isn't good, why bother putting it on pizza? I rest my case. Please tell me how wrong I am in the comments. Moving on, an actual good idea, and probably a tasty one, is grilled cheese stuffed crust. Is it different from regular cheese stuffed crust? Not really. Almost a copy and paste, actually. It's not grilled, and it's not even American cheese. The crust has breadcrumbs and melted butter on it to simulate bread. I don't know, it seems kind of misleading. Here's another great idea. Breadstick crust pizza. You don't have to order both now, so maybe it saves you some money. I just would eat the pizza part first, otherwise you'll rip off the crust and have a crustless pizza. Again with another great idea, mac and cheese pizza. This pizza is loaded with cheese, penne pasta, and mushrooms. It may taste good, but it's certainly not healthy. Well, I guess nothing on this list is. Possibly the best idea on this list, Doritos crusted pizza. This is a regular stuffed crust pizza, but with nacho cheese Doritos loaded on the crust. Do I need to make any more of a case for this one? And here's the final pizza. Wait, this doesn't look that weird. Oh, it's something in the crust. Zoom in. Zoom in a little further. Further. See that? No? Okay, zoom in a little further. This is the subscribe button stuffed pizza. Arguably the best pizza on this list. This pizza has an amazing effect that whoever eats it subscribes to my channel. Make sure to check that you are subscribed, because if you are, then you're extra cool. If you're not, that's okay too. Actually, that's not okay. Subscribe. I make content like this every week, so if that sounds awesome to you, then subscribe. Let me know which of these pizzas you guys would try or never try, and argue amongst yourselves in the comments.